Um, I want to kick off by just asking you to address some of the things that we've seen happening over the last week or so. A massive move on the part of the Biden administration, really, to say shore up defenses, if you will, um, when it comes to China. But it hasn't left the French very happy. Was there another way to get this done, in your view? I mean, I think the, the move was was very positive. I mean, this is a, a promising step and important. And there's the submarine deal, but there are also other aspects of the deal that are important, too. But the French are obviously livid. How much of that is theater versus reality is a bit hard to say. Um, mm. But, you know, if, if it had to be this way, it had to be this way, with all due respect to our French allies. When you think about this um, in the broader context of America's security, what does this look like, in your view, going forward when we talk about China? Well, China is by far the most significant challenge to U.S. interests. It's Asia Pacific, as you know better than I, is the world's most significant region. It's over 40 percent of global GDP and will be 50 percent before long. And China is the world's other largest economy. So it's by far the other you know, superpower in a sense. And China looks like it's going after regional domination, basically not old style imperialism, but basically where everybody in the region more or less has to check with Beijing before they make important decisions. And that's not only on military issues, that's also on economic issues. I mean, we're very accustomed to a world where Wall Street and Silicon Valley and Washington DC basically kind of set more or less the parameters. China wants to displace that. And that, you know, it's, it's not crazy to want to do that, but the rest of us shouldn't accept it.